Welcome to a micro training with Mother Goose Time. Today, we will be talking about three creative ways that you can use puzzles with preschoolers. Now, every month with Mother Goose Time, you receive a new cardboard puzzle, so be sure to save them all to build your collection of preschool friendly puzzles. Okay, so the most common way to play with a puzzle is to dump out all the pieces on a table and then put it all back together. And this builds problem solving, spatial awareness skills, but try one of these new ideas and build even more skills with your children. The first idea is what I like to call feed the puppy. And actually you can feed any animal or object. Just use whatever toy you have. So here's my puppy puppet. We're gonna begin with an assembled puzzle. And I'm going to name a hidden feature and then encourage a child to take that piece from the puzzle and feed it to the puppy. And children love the make-believe aspect of this idea. When you add story to any simple math type project, it becomes so much more interesting and engaging to the children. So I might say, oh, my puppy wants to eat a puzzle piece with the color white. So this is also a great listening comprehension and vocabulary building activity because it requires the child to understand and apply the meaning of the adjectives or nouns that you use in your description. It also gives you an immediate opportunity to assess their understanding. Okay, the second idea is to dig for puzzle pieces and focus on the fine motor skills. You can pretend that the farm dog took some puzzle pieces and dug holes to hide them, but now you need help finding all those lost treasures. So you can just simply hide the puzzle pieces in sand, flour, cornmeal, oats, whatever you have on hand, and then set out different tools such as tongs or spoons, maybe spoons with holes in them, and this requires the child to control his small muscles while hunting and digging up those puzzle pieces. The third idea is found on page 25 in your farm study teacher guide. So see this activity titled cow puzzle. Here we suggest that you write numbers on the back of the pieces. You could pretend that you're counting everything in the barn. So I wrote numbers one to nine. Now, Encourage children to find numbers either in numerical order, and they could line up those pieces, or you could give simple math challenges, like can you find a puzzle piece with a number that's less than three? Or could you find the puzzle piece that um, is number eight? You could also roll one or two dice and then find the puzzle piece with that same numeral on it or the amount of dots on the dice when you add the two together. So there's so many different ideas that you could use with the numbers and puzzle pieces. And today, before you play with puzzles, think think about your own idea for how to add a story or tool to the process of taking apart and putting together a puzzle. So thank you for watching and check out another micro training with Mother Goose Time.